will be left. And all their work they made them serve with vigor. Then the king of Egypt said to the Hebrew midwives, of one whom was named Shifra, Shifra, uh, Shifra and the other uh, Pua, when you serve as the midwives to the Hebrew women and see them upon their birth stool, if it is a son, you shall kill him, but if it is a daughter, he shall live. But if the mid midwives feared God, and they did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but let the male children live. So the king of Egypt called the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this? And let the male children live. The midwives said to Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not like us, like the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous and are delivered before the midwife comes to them. And this has to do with, with the children of God, with the tribulation being delivered before. Uh, that they're, they're going to be uh, faced in tribulation before they're ready. Before, before they're soothed with the Holy Spirit, before they uh, accept Jesus Christ. For it is through that tribulation where the Christians will come to Jesus Christ. So God dealt with the midwives and the people multiplied. He dealt with the midwives because they listened to God. And the, the people and grew very strong and the, uh, the people multiplied and grew very strong. And because the midwives feared God, He gave them families. He blessed them. Then Pharaoh commanded all his people, his, Every son that is born to the Hebrews you shall cast into the Nile, but you shall let every daughter live. This is speaking about the depopulation of people. Now in Jeremiah 7, 25-29, Beginning in verse 25, From the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have persistently set all my servants, the prophets, to them day after day. This is speaking about a warning. In other translations, this uh, sent all my servants persistently is... The scriptures uses the word, I warned the people persistently, day after day. Yet they did not listen to me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. So you shall speak to them all these words, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them, this is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. This is also word nation is, this is the generation that did not obey and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. Cut off. The Bible said it's up to a man to prepare his heart. The reply of the tongue is from the Lord. The tongue has been cut off. It's been cut off because there is no truth in the heart. Cut off your hair and cast it away. Raise a lamentation on the bare heights. The Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. Our generation today. Cut off your hair. God says that he's given the, the king of Babylon a razor in his hands. And of course, cutting off the hair is a symbol of a new beginning, a new walk with God. Uh, the, the, they would shave their heads bald in the old days, and, and the, the, the hair that would grow, the new, that is a new growth. And of course, the bow of the Nazarene, no razor would touch that hair. All the hair have to grow. And that is just growth in the Holy Spirit. Continual growth with no interference. Strict diets and a strict, strict way of living with the Holy Spirit. Completely separated like John the Baptist was in the, in the wilderness. Before he began his ministry. Deuteronomy 28, 60-63. Verse, verse 60. And he will bring upon you again all the diseases of Egypt, which you were afraid of, and they shall cleave to you, 
every sickness also and every affliction which is not recorded in the book of this law the Lord will bring upon you until you are destroyed whereas you were as the stars of heaven for multitude you shall be left few in number because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God and the words of Jesus Christ continues and as the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you and you shall be plucked off the land which you are entering to take possession of it this is speaking about our country this is speaking about this generation also where we're living today there will be more plagues all the plagues that are written in the book after the law in the new covenant uh, throughout the entire Bible will come is already here they're already here upon this generation spiritually spiritually the uh, the, the cutting off of the tongue uh, the, uh, the 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 un, um, unwillingness to turn uh, the uh, uh, all, all the false doctrine that is plaguing the people this is the, these are the plagues that God is talking about they're already here and as it, the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you so the Lord will also delight in bringing ruin upon and destroying you just like he said it, it pleased him to crush Jesus Christ because of the deliverance that was going to happen so through this oppression that's happening God is delighting in it because the end is now the end is near he's closing it off and we're going to be with him together in a better place after Satan is destroyed Isaiah 43 15 to 18 and 19 to 20 I am the Lord your God your Holy One the Creator of Israel your King thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters he makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters this is these are spiritual highways direct links to Jesus Christ while you're walking in Egypt who brings forth chariot and horses army and warrior they lie down they cannot rise this is the the oppressor the Egyptian king they are extinguished quenched like a wick you see they too have a light a light of darkness the darkness of the moon remember not the former things nor consider the things of old behold I am doing a new thing you see I'm doing a new thing new even more plagues than in Egypt I'm doing something new I'm he's closing the age right now S similar to what happened in Noah in the days of Noah where he used liquid water physical water but today the water is human beings now it springs forth do you not perceive it verse 19 behold I am doing a new thing now it springs forth do you not perceive it I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert in the hearts of the people Psalm 91 a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert those who are cut off the wild beasts will honor me the jackals and the ostriches for I will give water in the wilderness rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people the people whom I have formed for myself that they might declare my praise the wild beasts will honor me 